Hey everyone, thanks for joining this session covering the savvy end user experience. I'm Cedric, and before we get started, I'd like to share with you a bit of the journey that we take at Savvy to bring an idea from sketches on a napkin to fully fleshed out hardware and software features that we're confident will make your lives as Savvy integrators easier. So as you may have picked up on already, simplicity is a foundational principle of design here at Savvy. We think of it as our North Star. It guides us on every decision we make throughout the product line. At Savvy, we believe that good design comes from simple design. And simple design requires experience and understanding, and sometimes a whole lot of trial and error. Every detail matters to us, and maintaining consistent iconography, colors, and typefaces throughout the interface helps reduce mental overhead for end users and makes your jobs easier. Check marks are a great example of this. These easily understood icons are prevalent throughout the Savvy experience, from facility view to room view, to creator and the DMA and Savvy audio product line and more. We spend a lot of time and consideration selecting colors to keep the experiences consistent as well. We had to create a color palette for Savvy that was both instantly recognizable and easy on the eyes. That way, when you learn to use Savvy at one location, you can be confident that your experience will remain the same at any other Savvy installation. Speaking of learning Savvy, Vinny's right here behind the camera. Vinny, are you ready to show everyone a Savvy demo? I'm ready. I'm gonna take some time and uh, show you guys how our UI works. We've tried to make this as sleek and simple as possible with our locations on the left, endpoints in the center, and sources and layouts on the right. I'm gonna take some time and show you guys how easy it is to control our displays and endpoints. Starting with the one behind me. So uh, I can go in, select my display, and then choose which source I want on it. So direct TV one, two, or I can go in and select some really cool layouts here. I'm gonna go ahead and do the two by two. Two by two one's really cool to me. It just really makes a display pop. We try to make it as easy as uh, easy as controlling one as it is to control many. So I'm gonna take you on over here to our signage wall and show you how we do that. I'm gonna select my room here, and then up in the right corner, we have some filters. I'm gonna select my all filter, which allows me to take control of all seven of these displays and change it to what I want. So say I wanna do a source on the bottom and maybe a drink special on the top. Or I can do something with a some food special on the bottom and a source on the top. I can also come in and change my sources very quickly. I can uh, utilize the checkboxes that Cedric was talking about earlier to control a couple of displays here too. So as you can see, I selected three of them to change to a different source. Some other great control that we have is with DMX lighting. DMX lighting can make any AV system pop. I'm gonna come in and select my displays, or my DMX lights here, and I can change them. Maybe do a pink color, a light green, or back to my blue. We just try to make it as simple as possible for you to control everything, putting it at your fingertips. Some really cool features we have here in our satellite UI are, is previewer. So we actually pull in your source preview and put it in the UI so that you don't have to look at your display or run around and get your remotes. So I can actually pull up my guide here, select everything I want. Say I want to put on this football game here and my satellite changes. We have a, we have a function called room view that I want to show you guys. So I'm going to take you over to a mounted iPad that I have that helps you control what you want in a different room. As you see, I have a, uh, an iPad mounted here, and it's actually showing our facility view of our office, actually. So I can come in and change my scene up here, and go to my conference room. So we actually use this to control our conference rooms. I can select my displays, can uh, choose a macro here if I wanted to, do a dual presentation, or just watch some, dis or some, uh, some TV in there if I wanted to. We have some other really cool um, functions with our satellite control. One of them is called scheduler. So I actually can go in here, and I'll select my remote, and I can go to scheduler. And what scheduler does is it allows me 
to select my channel changes up to four days in advance. And in a busy bar environment, this is a game changer. So I can actually come in and scroll through and choose what I want on each display. Sorry about that, I hit the X. I got some fat fingers, my bad. And we actually put in a search function that allows you to find what you need very quickly. So say I wanna find a football game, which there aren't really many on right now for uh, obvious reasons. So I'll put that on SAT4, and then maybe I'll do Australian football right here on SAT2. And that just allows me to go about my day and not worry about my channel changes. Some other really cool features that I'm gonna show you on here um, actually are our custom actions, which would be our macros. So I can create a macro for whatever, whatever I want to control a large scale or small scale. We also have lighting integration. I already showed you guys DMX, but we actually do lighting integration with a couple of different uh, lighting companies. Um, just let us know if you have questions about that and we'll let you know who we can integrate with. But it's very easy to use. I'm gonna select all here and we have our different brightness settings. And you can see that they're changing pretty quickly here. Then also audio zones, you can't forget about those. So audio zones, very quick to control. We actually have some preset volume in here. We have softer, soft, normal, loud, and louder. And that's just really easy to create these presets so that once you get a little bit busier, you can just come in and jump your sound up to whatever you're feeling at the time. I can select my different sources here. Apple TV, microphone, your music, whatever you want to do. There's so much we can do with this system. We've just really tried to make this as simple as possible to allow your training to be a lot easier and just give you more time with your clients. I think it's about time for us to get out of here. So I'm going to close us down and um, I really appreciate you guys joining us. See you next time. Oh man, it got dark. <laughs>